Hi there, everybody. Welcome to the match. Martin Tyler here. Alan Smith sitting alongside me. Thank you, Martin. Looking forward to this. Our game for you today features Bray Wanderers, and they play Bohemians. Well, here is the team sheet for the home side. Responsibility for some of those five in midfield to get forward and... Uh, I'm sure the, the main striker won't be isolated, although it looks a bit like that on our screens. Yeah, he could be a lonely man up top there if he doesn't get the support that uh, he needs because he is the type of player that does need support. He can't do it all on his own. What about the prospects for Bohemians in this game, Alan? Oh, really good start, I think, for this side. Win and a draw, opening two games and get something here and their ambitions to qualify for Europe will be justified. A goal from uh, Shamrock Rovers. It's a goal for Derry City. He's got his shot off now. Gone for goal in spectacular style. Well, I was expecting him to be wheeling away in celebration there. Bird. Well, they're in a good position here. Got to be. The defenders managed to get in the way there. Connolly Brennan Sullivan trying to find a way through here probing away Well, that's always the goalkeeper's ball and a simple catch as much as anything is simple in this game chance for back-to-back -back wins for the new manager having been successful in his second game in charge his game number three and beginning to take shape under him i think so i mean there were signs that he's getting the players on side and another win here the crowd will be right behind him on the attack here That could open them up. And shoots. He can put them in front. And that's an excellent goal. They're in front now. What an enjoyable goal to watch. It must have been great to participate in. Well, you've got to ask questions of the defence because they just didn't follow in there. So the first goal, it's 1-0. Looking for an opening with some good control build up. The shot's on. They could have been level. Alan, they should have been level. Well, his manager on the touchline looks fuming. He might just withdraw him soon. It's good play until they got that challenge in. Harding tried to tackle here and he's done that just lent the ball to his mate and got it back again not rushing it here moving from one side to the other just a heavy touch the opposition could take the ball away Sullivan could make a chance with this tackle oh charge down they're going to get a corner here because of that deflection shot he's made the save Brennan it goes out wide again there's the ball in he's better usually at crossing than that it was a defender who got there first quite easily actually Sullivan attacking now. This referee's and that's a foul, and uh, they'll get a free kick for that. To Burr. Now Kelly came in with the challenge, and the ball broke free. 
Well, I think, Callum, the home team need a win. A couple of draws in their last two games, that's slightly unsatisfactory. Yeah, and I think they do need that win just to give them a bit of confidence, which they've been lacking over the last two. To get the equaliser, hit the post. And it's a header. Terrific stop. And the keeper able to stop that one. O'Halloran. And the board has gone up to indicate three added minutes. So it's 1-0 here as the half-time whistle goes. I think that's a good performance, isn't it, Alan, from him in the first half? Well, he played really well, didn't he? And he got himself a... Start of the second half for you. Good strong tackle. Good defending. Try to keep you in touch with the transfers as we hear about them Ilkay Gundogan has definitely moved to Manchester City yeah and I think both parties will be absolutely delighted I think uh, he'll have a successful career at his new club and around 45 million pounds I think that's money well spent Kelly this is an exercise in patience as they try to get an opening they're looking to make the change now as quickly as possible, the home team. Safety first from the defender, can't blame him for that. On to the attack now. Defender to it first. Corner to come now. It was good play until they got that challenge in we've reached the hour mark half an hour to go it's time for the substitutes i think and the substitution for the home team here shot on and the goalkeeper got a touch to that fine save corner kick given What about this for a shot? Optimistic. Well, a long way out, but not a long way wide. Good effort. Kelly. Best. Goal news from Sligo. It's a second goal for Sligo Rovers. 67 minutes played, 2 0. Well, many thanks, Alan McAnally, keeping us up to date as usual. To burn. Here's a chance to attack. Short passes, but they're keeping the ball. And here's the shot. Oh, what a fine goal. They lead by two now. They'll feel a little bit more comfortable, and they're good value for this advantage at the moment. Well, he's doubled up here with his second goal, and he took it in excellent style, just like the first one. Just widen the margin here to 2-0. A goal from uh, Galway. It's a second goal for the visitors. 72 minutes played. 2-1. Cheers, Alan. Burn. 
Caffrey. Building steadily here, keeping possession. And he's presented the ball to the opposition. There's good progress with this attack. Time ticking on. And the goalkeeper. It's his ball. Came in with a challenge. It'll be a throw now after the tackle. Now Kelly. He's got his shot off now. And this is a goal. Hearty move there. He might have thought that was going to hit the bar, but no, he's just crept under. Unstoppable. Well, they've increased their lead here. And that could just wrap up the match. Yeah, the, the much better team out here today, and that scoreline reflects that. Well, they've widened the margin now. 3-0 they lead. Alan McNally. Sullivan. Well, this is a real shock. You can see it in the faces of the players, and you can hear it in the lack of noise, if you like, from the supporters. Well, those fans can't even be bothered to give their players any stick at the moment. They're just stunned into silence. Probing away, trying to find room for a shot, maybe. So they can regroup now at a goal kick. To burn. Now Kelly, made the challenge well. There's some potential in this move. Played into the middle. Goes for goal with the header. And it's a headed effort at goal. He's made the save. This has been called a football... Free kick given by the ref. Well, the ref's given a foul here, and it's a bad one, yellow. Yeah, no surprise there at all. Look again, Alan, at this, the slide tackle that went wrong. Yeah, I think so, and it was a poor tackle, it was badly timed. He's coming forward with some danger. Good challenge here. Good piece of tackling there. Three minutes from the referee by the fourth official. That's the decision regarding added time. Connor Kenner. Well defended, not just getting across. He thought quickly as well. It's a comprehensive win by three goals to nil. That's the final whistle. They have got the victory in a match that was very close. It could easily have been a defeat. Well, so evenly matched, and the winners, as a result, I think, will gain a great deal of confidence from this. It was absolutely extraordinary, exceptional, elegant, excellent. Well, so often we think... Electricity League. Bray Wanderers, nil. Bohemian, three. Shamrock Rovers, one. Derry City, three.
we should have a fine game for you today. I'm Martin Tyler, Alan Smith is with me. Welcome to you all. It's Bohemians playing today against Shamrock Rovers. Well, great interest here, of course, locally because of the geography of the two sides. They know each other's game so well, they live in the same parish. Now you've got your chance to check on the lineup for the home team. The kind of players that we expect, the kind of performances we expect from the individuals trying to make this formation work. Yeah, I mean, it can at first glance look cautious, but it just depends on the attitude of the players out there. And once they've got a foothold in this game, they can get a little bit more adventurous and push on. Thank you. This is the lineup for the away side. And again, we're going to see this shape up as a, a battle individual battles really because the formations are so similar yeah they are similar and uh, you do see this so often these days two really popular attacking shapes so uh, interesting how it pans out attacking now shots on here hit the post good defending Cut out the pass. Comes in with a tackle. Attacking well here. Well, there's a chance of playing at home to extend this run of two consecutive victories into three. Yeah, and the way they played in those previous two, I, I can see them making it three as well. well. They gave it straight to him, didn't they? Hayes. He's read that, hasn't he, and made the interception. Made it look easy, actually. Made the challenge well. One or two tackles early on. He's given the free kick here. He's going to get his message across the ref. Well, just a chance to tell you about a confirmed transfer here. Mats Hummels has moved on to Bayern Munich. Yeah, and I think both parties will be absolutely delighted. I think... Uh, He'll have a successful career at his new club and around £45 million. Pounds. I think that's money well spent. And he's up for the header. Going to try one now. And they've scored. That's the first goal of the game. So the first goal, it's 1-0. Hayes. Well, it's good progress with this attack. Well, they passed their way up into a good position here and then just lost the concentration, lost the ball as well. Now well, they've got to work hard to try and get it back. Comes in with a tackle. O'Halloran. Now it's a free kick that the referee has decided to award. Madden. Simon Matt, confident and quality on the ball. Came in with the challenge and the ball broke free. Clark. Good forward play from them. He might be through. Here's the chance, and it's an equalising goal here. You don't get away with that when you're a goalkeeper at this level. No, rush of blood, and that's not what you want from your goalkeeper, and it's cost his side. So, away we go at one all. Goal news now from Bray. It's a goal for Galway United. 28 minutes played, 1-1. One, one. Thank you very much, Alan.
little too eager to get in behind the opposition caught offside defense squeezed they knew they caught their man off on to Buckley moving forward with some danger to the opposition now they're here Hayes. Got the tackle in. Attacking now. That's great defending there, stopping that attack. Fitzgerald. One, two, and having a little game of their own here. How frustrating is this for the other team trying to get the touch of the ball Buckley that will help ease the pressure and he's got the ball away from him with the tackle he can't put them in front a oh, well saved corner Safety first from the defender, can't blame him for that. And in goes the cross. Fitzgerald. Promising build-up until that challenge. Well, there's going to be three minutes added on. Tackle here. Now they've thrown the ball away there, literally to the opposition. And shoots! Good work by the goalkeeper. And that's the half-time whistle from the referee. 1-1 at the break. So here we go for the second half. On the attack here. That's got him out of a tight area with that back heel. It's a shot now. What a fine save. Strong challenge. And the assistant signals for the throw. Fitzgerald. They could have got through there, but the defender was absolutely on top of his game. Here's a chance to attack. It's a poor touch and the possession's gone away. A timely challenge. McKay. Well, they're building steadily here, working away to take the lead. Credit for taking on the shot. Well, what a good chance that was for him. By his standards, that's the glaring miss. On to Buckley. Great passage of passing play there. Defender to it first. He tried to find his man, but he's only put the ball into touch. It's a terrible place to give the ball away.
McKay. In comes the challenge. Gary McCabe. Well, this attack has got a bit of menace to it. Cross coming in now. Not a great cross at all in the circumstances. And pretty easy to cope with by the defending team. Looking for an opening with some good control builder. Challenges for the ball. Good play, but they've lost the ball now, and the opposition could get at them. 20 minutes now remaining. Madden. McKay. A lot of defenders between them and the goal, but they still got the ball. Got the tackle in. Excellent interception. Kavanagh. He's coming forward with some danger. Good pass, getting it forward. To put them in front. Very good stop here. That's pretty straightforward for the keeper this time. Simon Madden. It's Webster. Shaw. We've got ten minutes left on the clock. They spread it out wide here. Chance to get some width into this attack. Good through pass. It's a very good interception. And now the shot. Goalkeeper hangs on. Goal news from Bray. It's a second goal for Galway United. Five minutes remain. 2-2. Two -two. Thanks, Alan. Possibly. Hey, a booking this. Well, that's a yellow card. Yeah, I don't think there's any choice there from the ref. Well, that's risky going in like that. Well, he's dived in. It's a reckless one. Here's Buckley. He's got support here. And in goes the cross. He's taken a touch there of the defender. It will be a corner. McCabe, Simon Madden, McCabe, three minutes to be added on, Madden, and he's got the ball away from him with the tackle, well neither side, Electricity League. Bohemian 1, Shamrock Rovers 1. Bray Wanderers 2, Galway United 2.